Smoke of the Grubble with Cold Boo! Woo! On today's episode, we have a follow up to the first episode of Scotty Beards. <laughs> this is Scotty Beards, round two! <laughs> These were sent to us by Scotty and, Scotty Beers. and Dorothy. Thank you so much, guys, for sending these out. Really appreciate it. We got uh, four different types that I can't remember the name of, so I'm just going to read them off. New Holland's The Poet, Right Brain, Naughty Girl Stout, Shorts Brew, Spruce Pilsner, and Shorts Brew, Wowie Zowie. Oh, that's got crap floating in it. That's going to be delicious. Wowie Zowie. The Spruce Pilsner. It's an Imperial Pilsner brewed with spruce needles. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells too much like an IPA. Actually, that's kind of delightful. Um, Ugh. strong, strong follow-up flavor to the spruce. Um, because it's, it must mm. be like dry hop style with the spruce in there. That's almost like a ginger beer. That's got so much goddamn flavor in it. Oh, well, it's got a ton of flavor. It has some <clears throat> flavor. You Give me those flavors. It. You could feel it. You could feel the mm. spruce. Ah. What is the point of making this a pilsner? Like, why go through the extra work of making a pilsner? Because it takes longer to ferment a pilsner. It's harder to ferment a pilsner. It's got to be at a colder temperature. It takes a lot more effort. And then they just throw in spruce tips so it tastes like a fucking IPA. Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Does it taste like an IPA to you? Yes. yes. I'm just not getting anything out of this that the Pilsner is adding, you know what I mean? I, I, I will admit, I can't pick out the Pilsner, but I also wouldn't know what this would be like with another beer either. Like, it's got some really revolutionary stuff going on here for me. It's an interesting beer, especially if you like the hop flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I can't like qualify this necessarily as refreshing, necessarily as something I want to drink a bunch of. I would say, put this in your profile. Let's yeah, move on right. to the next one. Or give that a score. Uh, I'm going with six. I would do a six too. Yeah, like I, I would buy it again to try it again, and I wouldn't give it to a friend. A three. He's giving like, it to I'm her. not. Ooh, three. <clears throat> All right. I'm not a fan. Next up, Wowie Zowie Third. Experimental American Amber Ale brewed with fresh mint and mango. There is a lot of floaties in that. Scotty, you sent me a lot of mint beers. Don't think I didn't notice. Yay! You son of a bitch. Mint is so <laughs> delicious. Keep it coming, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Amber? Wow. You that's tell me a, that's an amber? That's got a smell to it. Amber ale. Okay. Gosh, what is that? What the fuck? I think fuck? I'm still smelling the uh, first one in this. What one. is going on in here? What in the... That attacks my nose. No, now the wowie zowie makes sense. You drink this and you're like, wow, wow, wee wah. Oh, God, what's going on here? I actually don't mind that one. Oh, I'm not liking it. For the color, like, you were getting way more malt taste in there than I would have expected. Urgh! Not super strong hoppiness, but it's there. There is definitely the green flavor you get from eating, like, a fresh mint leaf. Like, it's not like what you would normally yeah. consider, like, a mint, you know, yeah. like, with your spearmint or peppermint. But, like... It's got yeah. that kind of green bitter that like a dandelion or something has. Yeah. <laughs> it's it almost tastes like fresh hop. Like if you were to lick a hop pellet. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of. of the flavor you get. Like strong arugula or something. Yeah. Except it's like yeah. it, it attacks my nose too. I'm not getting the mango flavor, but I hate the flavor. It's no. it's surprisingly neutral for how much it offends my mouth. Yeah. Cause it's like strong at the very beginning and then like it mellows completely out <laughs> after that and then there, at the end there's just that lingering bitter green bitter flavor yeah i would give this i wouldn't want to buy it more um four and a half oh compared to the first one the first one's like amazing <laughs> i'm giving that one a three again like it's it's i would never buy it again it's not making me puke but um a couple of them hey the night is young i'm gonna give it a five it's Ooh. really I don't know why. Goddamn it, contrarian it, it, it over It hits like just this weird spot in my brain. Next up, New Holland's The Poet. Ooh. Oatmeal Stoot. I'm, assu I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be like a Edgar Allan Poe thing since they got the raven on there. Uh, I don't see the connection. No? Okay. Uh, this is coming in at 5.8%. Or 5.8%. 5 percent <laughs> It's coming in 5 percent <laughs> Ooh. Okay, 
I can see where this would go with the mushrooms. Like, it almost has, like, a, 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 a dirty, like, portobello mushroom smell to it. I like what it's trying to do, but I just don't think it gets there. Mm-hmm. I'm getting, like, mild coffee notes with a little bit of molasses -y kind of thing. No sweetness. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... Like a light stout. Yeah. It's not really punching me where I would expect an oatmeal stout to, uh, to hit. Yeah, like the aftertaste is more of a generic ale versus a stout that has really deep flavors. Yeah. Um, you get a little bit of that soy sauce sort of on the nose of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is some soy sauce notes there. But it finishes like kind of foamy like a Bud Light does. Oh, <laughs> Scathing, I, scathing I mean, review. It's as close, I guess, as you can get to a refreshing stout in yeah. that sense. Yeah, you're right. You know, it really doesn't have the thickness and like the really robust nature of your average yeah. oatmeal stout. Yeah, yeah, especially because it is oatmeal stout. I do like some of the smokiness. I really do. It, I think the smokiness does, is nice. It does have some smokiness. It's to just it. not there like other ones are. It's, it's, yeah, it's it feel. Really? I feel like they need to bump this up by like three <laughs> percent, and then get some nice rich flavors in there, and then you could have something really interesting. But mm -hmm. as it is, it's like yeah. Yeah, how do you Especially, get like out flavored by Guinness? Yeah, and, and you're you're calling this <laughs> yeah. the poet, right? Like you bring you're invoking a certain thing there <laughs> when you're bringing up Edgar Allan Poe with this shit, right? Uh -huh. Some intenseness would be desired in this sort of product. Yeah, like I should of start hearing a beating heart under the floor after drinking this, and I got nothing, nothing. Yeah. Whoa, I'm not gonna buy that again. It's not gross, but like if I was to give it a five, that would mean I would like actively want to drink it again, but I'm gonna give it a four. Same here. Yeah. It deserves a four. I I, I agree. It's not standing out. It sure ain't these nuts. <laughs> We're gonna finish this off with right brains. Uh Nazi girl stout. Left brain? Right brain. Right brain. Left brain? A stout right brain. brewed with real mint. Not that fake shit. <laughs> Alright. Definitely no real smell oh, to this it. This definitely has more. Really? I'm getting uh, super I, I, soy to yeah. this. Really? Yeah. Not it's... soy. What does it smell? It smells like smelling the box of thin mint. It's not like cardboard? Because I'm getting. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm really not smelling the mint. Neutral. This smells oh, like God. soy sauce. Oh, the hell no. <laughs> it's drinking a thin mint. Oh. <laughs> God. Uh. I kind of like it. <laughs> Mmm. I don't mind the mints. You can taste the mint in here. I don't mind it. Maybe you like that, maybe you don't. It's subtle. It smells a lot worse than it tastes, I think. Everything here is very subtle. Like, there are no strong flavors, and the mint is kind of just like, hey, I'm here to wrap <sighs> up this very boring party. Yeah. I think you're right. Like, they, they need to amp up each flavor that is happening in here, but like... 40%. And then this would be something interesting. Even if it was like super strong mint just coming at you, at least then it's an experience. Whereas it is now, it's just kind of like, yeah, I can I think kind if they of that taste up, that it. That would be too much like drinking toothpaste. I can kind be. of taste it. Yeah. It's, it's noticeable. It's not offensive, though. But it's just like... I think it is offensive just yeah. because it's barely noticeable. I think that is also why it is offensive. It's like drinking a beer with a little bit of toothpaste in your mouth, you know? Yeah. It's just kind of there. If I was going to get offended no, at all, it's because no, of the me, lack. That's not of like flavors. that. I, I dig it, man. I, I'd give this a five mm -hmm. and a half. Yeah, five, you're saying you dig it at five and a half. That's like, <laughs> well, compared to the rest of them, man, I love me a Coors Light. <laughs> Fucking my favorite beer. Five and a half. <laughs> it's just okay. Well, if everything else you Let's had be that honest night. Here. If everything else you had that night was mouthwash, <laughs> yeah. you know, you'd be like, "Oh, this is amazing! This is the best thing ever." It's just kind of okay, yeah. and that's as strong as an endorsement I can give. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same so, here. I, I would say a five is fair. I would buy this again. I could definitely drink half of a six pack and give the other half to people that are curious about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, that's that's kind of where I am. Like. You need to try this. Yes. Four try and a half. It. 
I want to be more generous than the last one because they are trying something interesting. So four and a half for me. This has been Grubbin' with Colt Moon. Yes, Please it has. like, share, subscribe. If you've had any of these beers before, let us know what you think. And also let us know what your favorite stout is. Why not? Yeah. You had some stouts here. They're kind of iffy. I want to know your favorite stout. Especially if it's got mint in it. I want, I want to hear more about these mint stouts. Yeah. I gotta pee. Tell me a good one. Belching Beaver. Chocolate peanut butter stout. That shit's awesome. Go check out LoveFamilyMolasses.tv slash LoveFamilyMolasses. Thanks for watching. <laughs>